one of the things I might point out is that that if you play around with things of this sort, I think the natural uh, tendency is when you come across something that doesn't fit, is to back away from it because it does not fit the model uh, of what you're supposed to think and what you're supposed to do. When actually the, the, the fun of the game is to take something that appears uh, as though it comes out of the blue and doesn't belong anywhere and start to begin to try to understand it because I think that's a part of the whole picture extremely important as to why there is this variability in the individual. And this has to be taken into account when you do your examination and you set up your model of what you're going to expect. Now what I'm trying to do at the moment is try to describe something about how I do what my expected is and how I do this whole thing. One of the very interesting things that, that emerged with my experience with the ball club, it was very, very clear there that the distribution the players and their performances was such that I describe it as a diamond uh, distribution, or it was two bell curves, one up here and one down here, so that at the top of the heap, you had literally what one would expect is nice sections, everything was positioned the way it should be, you couldn't find any holes in it, and the performance was, of uh, the player was very, very good. Pitch, he could play first, he could play second, he could hit, he could do all of these things. He could play the game as a player as well as a pitcher, they're two different things. Besides all the positions, he could go to the right, he could go to the left, he could do all this kind of thing. On either side of the distribution, the skills batteries tended to coalesce in different areas so that you had one where the centering was different than the other. And If you were careful enough, you could predict by the findings whether you had a pitcher or you had a player. But you had to be very sharp about this because I made a mistake one time. Uh, I didn't know enough of the background at that time, though, it would allow me to make the mistake seeing this kind of thing. It would be like if you went back, you're all familiar with Babe Ruth, to see what it could have been. He, he could have pitched as well as his hit. And there was that part of the confusion in this. At the bottom of the heap, with the ones that did not last, you had a pattern that was almost identical with the one at the top of the heap. This is a very confusing thing to start with, see, because they looked almost the same. Where the difference showed was when you took the slice in time and then put them in motion, and it appeared in the skills battery, it did not appear in the analytical. And even there, in the skills battery, it may have been only one thing that broke the dam. This is extremely important. So that if you understand what I'm saying, you can have almost the perfect picture with only one little niggling piece out of place. And you better examine that one very carefully because I have found that can be the key to the whole thing crumbling. <laughs>